According to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, at least 44 people have died as a result of Hurricane Ian. Now both the National Guard and Osceola County officials are warning people in one Kissimmee neighborhood to get out before floodwaters rise. Brian Ditlake is there. It's some somber and crazy moments here in the Shingle Creek community as water levels continue to rise here in this temporary evacuation for this area at the reserve at Oaks. People are packing up what they can to take with them as they're leaving this area so that they can get to higher ground as water levels are expected to rise. Residents in the reserves at the Oaks community rescued by members of the Florida National Guard Saturday. Water expected to rise two feet, according to Osceola County officials. The National Weather Service stating Shingle Creek rose to 64 feet, falling only two feet by Monday. Uh, but we did issue a voluntary evacuation for our residents to let them know, uh, especially those that would drive small cars, that they would not be able to get out and that it could delay emergency services response if they needed something in the middle of the night. News 6 present as one family was rescued from their home. It just, it was so rapid, it was so fast that we just pack and we leave. I mean, thanks God that we are safe right now. Desella Sandoval and her family just one of more than 250 people evacuating. Sandoval says this moment was hard for her family due to this being a time of transition. We're moving back to Kissimmee. We came to visit my mom for a couple of days and we end up with all this. Now, as the Florida National Guard continues to help people evacuate this community, they're warning people who choose to stay that their resources will be limited as electricity is said to be cut off in this area and they expect water levels to rise. Sure, I think in general, you know, we wish that they would just evaluate the best decision for their family and if they need assistance, now is the time. According to Austin Blake, the assistant city manager for Kissimmee says a few people did go to a shelter, but majority went to family and friends. Sandoval warning people in other low-lying areas in her community. If we need to evacuate, just make a decision, do it. As for Blake, he says he is just grateful all those who evacuated was safe. We absolutely could have not done this mission in the time that it was accomplished uh, without their assistance, and for that we are forever grateful. And now again, county officials say that they're going to be doing everything they can to mitigate the flooding in this area, but as water levels continue to rise, they hope that anyone who needs to evacuate any low-lying flooding areas within Osceola County do so immediately because after it gets dark, it does get hard for emergency officials to get to people in a safe manner. We're in Osceola County. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.